Hello everyone and welcome back to the couch. So this should be our final part of episode one here. Sorry for taking a couple of days. I needed to take care of some things in the meantime, but now we're ready to go ahead and finish the council here and see really what they got in store for us here in terms of, you know, alternative storytelling. Having your choices matter. You could do this or that. Right now what we need to do is we need to find the place mentioned by our mother. So I think that was the area with the Gorgons or something like that. I'm pretty sure it's going to be in the art gallery. We talked about it, but let's talk to Piaget here, huh? Well, your eminence, do you still have any room left? Ah, my son, the sin of gluttony is the most difficult of all in my eyes. <laughs> Nevertheless, what a charming moment we have had together. I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Volner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes, I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer's. You will see, it's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. Ah, I adapt quickly to local customs. It's what I was taught. <laughs> and you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? No? Alas, still nothing, your minutes. But... I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. Do not worry. It is typical of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. I should think you are beginning to worry. Probably. <laughs> well, I, I must admit, Your Eminence, indeed it does worry me. I understand, Louis. But continue to have faith in Santa. You'll see, I'm sure, that in a few days we'll all be laughing together. That's all I hope for, Your Eminence. But while I have you with me, I, I have a question for you. Do I? I have a question. Can I do for you? I'm looking for a Medusa. What are all eyes size you up? Does that mean anything to you? I'm looking for a Medusa. As I haven't visited all the manor yet, I wondered if you hadn't seen a Medusa by any chance. Medusa? I beg your pardon? Yes, La, la Gorgogne, the Medusa from Greek mythology. Medusa. Would you have seen one in any shape or form? Not at all, my son. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but unfortunately, I, I'm not going to be of any use to you. Thank you anyway, Your Eminence. I won't take up any more of your time. On that last word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later, Your Eminence. See you later, my son. <laughs> a Medusa. <laughs> oh boy, that was a Medusa of a question. We gotta go ahead and find all these eyeballs, huh? I'm sure we'll find him somewhere. Let's go take a peek around here. This is a really nice setting, I, I feel like. It's so big. It's got like this open type of feel to it, which I really appreciate. Oh, there's butterflies. Like, I really am digging this game way more than I thought I was going to. I thought it was going to suck, not going to lie. <laughs> I thought they were a little too cocky and it was going to be bad, but I've really been enjoying it. Discourse on the Method by Descartes. This book changed the way I looked at the world. Oh, really? Was there glasses inside of it? <laughs> okay, I'm done with the dad jokes. This is the final chapter, and everything should be concluded in this video here for episode one. So I'm kind of excited to see how it all comes together, man. Also, I sit down. I don't want. I don't want to sit down. So Zeusy boy is sitting right there. I mean, we're getting closer to Greek mythology, right? Oh yeah, there's Saturn eating his child again. I've seen that picture in other horror games. I feel like I saw it in, like, Granny or something like that. <laughs> All right, let's keep poking around here. Let's go outside. Yeah, I don't think we're ready to go outside, but there's two things here, so I can look at this. Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. Yeah, he do. I don't need to talk to him anymore. I mean, he could tell me where I gotta go, but... I think if we wander around enough, we'll figure it out, right? So we gotta find, like, an art gallery. Ooh, take a look at you. Aren't you pretty? Pretty creepy. Don't stare at people like that. Take a look at this guy again. He's like, hey, how you doing? Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no. I ain't, I'm, I'm doing fine, actually. Thanks. <laughs> can I play piano? Oh, wow, I can't. Figured I'd be able to. Great. Honey. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Can I go out here? Nope. There's something in this corner over here. There's a pattern with five circles on this chest. Oh, I have a key for that, don't I? Use the key. 
Oh, look at all this crap in here. Cool. I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. No space for what? So it's just a lot of golden elixirs, I guess. Okay. Hey, these look like pages taken from an ancient encyclopedia. Another book. Chronicles of the Amber Princes. As I recall, Dorkin was my favorite character. There's so many things. Ooh, do you think I can catch that? Oh, come on, agility, baby. So, one agility to get two back, amber I guess. Crystals. Oh, it's amber. 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 <laughs> I love me some amber. <laughs> I gotta tell you, man. We're gonna have quite the trip with Louie here. I feel like Louie's one of those characters that I can't stand how he talks, but by the end of all this, I'll be like, oh, Louie. How could I ever live without you? So, the servant dude said that in order to access the area with the gallery, I gotta go to where there's a balcony. Now, I mean, this looks really creepy, actually. I hate this. Oh, God. <laughs> you need a railing, dude. <laughs> Ugh, let's take a look, though. Yeah, you're so high up, all you see is atmosphere. That is kind of cool, though. Ugh, still, I get the heebie-jeebies just looking at it. You afraid of height swing point? Oh, I mean... If I could fall endlessly to my death, I mean, a little bit, yeah, that kind of creeps me out. I would at least like a fence there. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, so let's try to find the balconies here. So that we may go find the gallery. What's this, huh? Occult earth symbol. Okay. Well, I like earth symbols, I guess. It might help me open something up. What are you? Unlock it. Why not? Amber crystals. Ooh, cool. So now I have another slot open for my effort points. Let's go this way. Oh my goodness. Why? Why would you have this many books? I have read maybe, hmm, how many books? Not even one full shelf. <laughs> Not a book guy. Golden elixir. There's a lot of those around here. There must be a lot of bad things that are coming my way if they're giving me so many of those. I really should be taking a peek as I walk by here, though. But holy books, Batman! This is like a sign of wealth, isn't it? Actress, the Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. I guess I'm gonna take it. No, I guess not. Okay, so... Oh, I got some jelly. Thank you. I feel like this is a sign of wealth more than anything. It's not like this dude actually read all of this, right? Two pages out of an old encyclopedia. I keep adding to this a encyclopedia. Ruble. And a ruble. Oh, I got a collector coin. Yeah, there's gonna be all sorts of crap in here for me to just slowly grab. Oh, I can't go down too far. Look at it! It just keeps going! Look at how much knowledge the world could have that he's just keeping for himself, man. Ugh. Bet you he read like two of those. <laughs> this looks pretty gallery-ish. Sup, Jesus? So we gotta find out Medusa. <laughs> Why does he say that? Where all eyes size you up. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke of a Medusa. <laughs> Should I go and try to find the creature now? No, I should wander first and show everybody this great video game. Another sitting spot. Oh my. I like the music. Lots to look at around in here though. Holy man. Celia. That name means nothing to me. Well, I kind of want to pick things up here. Man, they are giving me a ton of those. But I also- oh wow, she- yeah, that's why- this is why I do not read, because it puts me to sleep, okay? Actually, I read a lot. I just don't read books. I'm always reading on the internet, right? Like everybody is. Amber. And, uh... I feel like you could find a study that says that kids are getting better and better at reading. Even if they're reading less the books. Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near, his brain is oozing by either ear. You. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. But I feel like kids these days, or at least our generation, like seeing as how we grow up in a time of using, 
you know, a lot of slang with internet stuff. Like, it kind of helps us teach us an alternate language to English. It's not, like, a whole different language, but, like, the idea of using different words to mean different things and, you know, shorthand, all that type of stuff. I could be totally off and lying about all of this, but I kind of feel like that would be a thing, right? Like, Devil's Thorn. I'll keep it. Oh, there's Medusa. God, no, I'm saying it. But I feel like I don't read that much, and I feel like people read less in general books. I've got to find out what Mother was trying to do with her. But I feel like people are reading the way Medusa. more than they used to, just because of how much content is consumed. With a sword? Hmm. Oh, dicks. A hero with a lantern. Oh, dicks. And the last one holding a shield. Oh, dicks. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's oh. give them a helping hand. So we gotta rotate them, you think, huh? But yeah, I feel like people are reading more than they ever did. But again, not traditional paper. What's this, huh? <laughs> the origin of myths. A reinterpretation of legendary creatures. Just what I need. Oh. That's the good. The text is in French on the left-hand page and in Latin on the right hand. Do I have Let's linguistics? Find a chapter on the Medusa. I don't have linguistics. Ah, uh, crap. Oh well. Hang on. This version is significantly different from the regular one. It recounts how men have always belittled women in society. Harpies, mermaids, the chimera, the hydra, the gorgons. Ah, the section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. Okay. So, the big thing with Medusa is you don't look at her, right? Because she turns you into stone, which... A little bit of irony here, they're all stone statues. <laughs> so, the dude of the sword is going to go straight at her. Before I do that, I'm going to take a little bit deeper peek into here. But, talking this through, we're going to turn those people away, right? Can I go in here yet? No, I can't. And then we will... The song of oh, this again. Roland feeleth his death and then we'll turn the sword dude to her. So let's go do that. Either ear. So who's who here, huh? Already remarkable that he can feel anything. Is that a sword? I'm assuming that's a sword. Yeah. So think about the configuration. Yeah, I feel like these are just really good ways to go ahead and use up all your points. <laughs> so toward the hero using the shield, toward Medusa, toward the sword. Sword. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, right? As long as. Okay. <laughs> Man, I wish they wore pants back then. Okay, so. You're already facing away. Handle the mechanism. Rotate the statue. Do I even need to rotate it, though? Or maybe they want to both look at the dude. Hmm. We'll see. But, you know, hmm. Part of me wonders if he'd be looking at Medusa, seeing as how... Can I rotate you? Oh, I can. I know this legend. I'm super Who curious I now. Found said, Beware, hero. The beast always charges the best protected. That is its weakness. That's the key. The best protected hero is the one holding the shield. Thank you, mother. So, then that means you're gonna charge the shield, dude. Right? And you're just going full ham sandwich over onto Medusa over here. <laughs> Don't look at it. Oh, did I get it? Oh, okay. First tries the charm, I guess. I don't see anything. I just hear things. Whoa. What did we- Oh, wow, there she blows. Secrets! Rah! For Pete's sake, Emily! You scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business, then. Wait, what? I don't know what you're talking about. 
Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. This one? <laughs> I've discovered a hidden message from my mother. She explains how to find the secret room. Something must have attracted her here, so I've come to check it out. And you? What brings you here? My, you're curious. Let me guess. Go on then, impress me. Whatever, make a joke. <laughs> Imagine she's looking for somebody too. She inv I don't know. Eh, yeah, sure. You're looking for somebody. Your silence speaks volumes. I must have got it right. And you will go to great lengths to find them. So, this person means a lot to you. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. At your service, madam. Wow. <laughs> we don't even know who she's looking for, man. In your dreams. Wow, what a nice guy. Yeah, what a nice pot you have here. I guess. The heavenly symbols refer to Pandora's box. Emily. I'm pretty sure I've got Pandora's box. Of course you have. You see an earthen pot and you immediately assume it can only be Pandora's box. Logical. Wow, you're condescending. What I like about you, Louis, is that you never fail to surprise me. I'm gonna open the jar. Emily, what if I open the jar? Would that then make man responsible for all the evils? Try. It'll make a change. <laughs> All right, can we move on now? I do love your irony, but honestly, are you ever impressed by anything you see? By a chamber pot? No, you really do need to do better than that. Okay. <laughs> I got an achievement, fearless. That's cute, I guess. <laughs> I found an amazing ring. There's an inscription engraved on it. If I feel like I, I feel like I've asked her about her marriage, that's not... Well, she's married. I'll ask her. You're married. Why don't you wear a wedding ring? You mean wear something just to prove your love, not my style. Huh, that's all we're asking? Hmm. I was expecting some more deets out of that one. That was kind of lame. Hmm. Talk to you? Nah. I ain't ready. Let's go see what else is around here. Lots of crap in here, man. Look like a gold fur. A golden fleece. It's freezing. Hurry up. It's oh, look at what you're wearing, lady. Advise her to use the hide. <laughs> Do you think it's the golden fleece? Do you think that can really be Jason's golden fleece? Oh, no, Jason. No, you are aware that Jason and the Argonauts is a myth, aren't you? But Mortimer has been protecting this hide. It must be of great value, don't you think? Certainly of historical value. This kind of hide is still used by gold diggers in Eastern Europe. Now you see how easy it is to obtain a legend. Why do you have to act so nonchalant every time I show you something? Louis, anyone can kill a sheep, rip off its hide, and say it's the Golden Fleece. We're at Lord Mortimer's, not at some farmyard fair. You're just too skeptical. And you have a tendency to believe anything. Talk about an unlikely pair. Yet, you know opposites attract, don't you? This is a really just, just interesting set of interactions here. An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. Let's try this one. Gee, is there anything England doesn't have yet? Wait, yes, there is. The United States. Oh! Well, not yet. Oh! Besides, as far as I know, they don't speak French in the United States. Oh! Dude, get burned. Okay, what's this? This is Thursday. Collector's coins. Oh, now I'm just stealing. Cool. Hey, Mortimer is the author of this work. 
He talks about his passion for art. We've got a lot of books so far. Can't wait to start reading some of these manuscripts and get them skills. Search the room with Emily, huh? You know, lady, you want me to go ahead and you want to go ahead and find your person, right? What sort of searching are you doing? You're really just obsessed with that one thing over there. It must be pretty cool. All right, so let's take a look at old Excalibur here. You should see the sword, Emily. It's magnificent. I'm busy. Describe it to me. Assess the weapon. This weapon is typically French, quite old, undoubtedly goes back to the Crusades. Joan of Arc? If it is a true Damask sword, it's worth more than a kingdom. It really does look like Joan of Arc's sword. The famous Maid of Orléans, one of your favorite historical heroines. You bet, given the number of English butts she kicked. And we all know where that got her. When you finished playing, maybe you can help me search the place? What are you doing here? I mean, I guess you do have a lot of documents in front of you. Yeah, didn't Joan of Arc die when she was like, I don't know, 19? <laughs> she didn't last very long. Amber. Amber. I don't want any more Amber, man. Oh, God, no, I didn't want to talk to you. I want to go look at the Here's box. Something interesting. A manor in Maine. Hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia. Properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old and all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. Ooh. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do Ooh. you think all these properties really belong to him? No, maybe. Mm, assume a theft, falsification, assume, assume Mortimer's immortal. Let's take a look at the documents. See those fine scratches around the words? Yes, and? The ink barely spreads on the paper. It spreads exactly the same way on the signature. The deed was written using the same ink. If it is a fake, then it's a professional job. Oh, wow. I think several Mortimers would make sense. Several people have played the part of Mortimer, a part that has been passed down from generation to generation. Different men, but with one sole identity. An intriguing hypothesis, and yet less twisted than some of my previous cases. At last, you finally agree with me about something. These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? Why keep such a collection hidden in a secret room? Any thoughts? Mortimer has every reason in the world to conceal it, even if only to keep it from people like us. Hey, Emily, we're not thieves. We're only looking. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She yes. didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. She has such big hair, man. Seriously, look at that. Carry on searching. Ugh. What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. We just met Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. She's Listen, weak to psychology. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell should I place my trust in you, Louis? Yeah, she's weak to psychology for sure. When are you going to understand that I just want to help you? What do you expect? That I'll fall into your arms and say yes to everything you want. What are you talking about? I'm only asking you to trust me a little. All right, so I'm wondering here if I can... Wow, this is interesting that they let me do this. Immunity to logic, and then she has one more to be discovered. So I'm surprised they let you look at this, that they don't block this off. Because this is this makes it way easier, right? I can go ahead and... Oh, yeah, what was she good at? So logic and, and, only and on psychology. Only on principle as a member of the Golden Order, for example. I'll admit you are fairly reliable. 
That's it? I was expecting more. Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. But I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help? Just like everyone. You have your strengths and your weaknesses. And there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! <laughs> and I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? He's really abrasive to her. <laughs> Analyze her character. Pragmatic, intelligent, sure of herself. Her only weak spot is her difficulty talking about herself. I don't know much about your past, but I'm guessing you had to get by on your own for much of your life. It might have closed you off, and that can be a disadvantage. It might be time for you to open up and risk a little trust. Not every man you meet wants to hurt you. Hmm. Yes, you may be right. Okay, can I just talk for a second? I really feel like this is like... <laughs> How do I describe this? Like, really just angled towards the... Like... Treating her a certain way without even knowing her. <laughs> like, assuming that she... Like, I don't know, he's just so short and brash with her. I don't know why. And maybe there was more interactions in the game that we should have experienced before this one, but he's just like, you're a dumb woman. And I'm like, okay then. <laughs> I might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? Get more psychology. Press her. Oh boy. Already has a partner. Okay, press her. I don't know if I want to press her. So, did we unlock anything there when we... No, we didn't. But she's immune to logic. We could try questioning. So, what I'm curious about now, if you take a look at all this... Okay, we're trying to learn the game here, which is why this is a little more segmented. We're trying to, like, figure out how these things are connected, right? So, conviction wouldn't make sense, right? Because it's on the opposite side of psychology. So, maybe questioning would make more sense, seeing as how it's more... But she's immune to logic, isn't she? So maybe it doesn't matter. I was thinking, oh, it's on the same tree. Maybe that would help. But it doesn't seem to actually matter. So... But still, maybe questioning. But reassure her about her short life. Like, that just doesn't sound very... Hmm. I guess we'll try this one. Oh, it's crystal clear. You don't like people telling you what to do, and you do like giving the orders to everyone. Whoa. If I were the matron you speak of, I would have found an underling to search this place, and I would be sound asleep in my bed. I wasn't expecting the... I already have a work partner. Oh, really? Oh, I was thinking I about that. I know my weaknesses. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me, but I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Ooh. Is there any chance she might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. I thought Consider it might be the partner. Lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on. Don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, wow. since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler. So, your partner is... Oh, okay. You can only use so many during a single thing. Well, I have this, so that's fine. Your sister. She's your partner. She's the one you're looking for. Well, I am impressed. How the devil did you guess I had a sister? Virtually no one even knows. When it comes to getting results, you are very good. I grant you that. You deserve to know why the sight of the cameo pendant affected me so strongly. I thought it belonged to Emma. My twin sister. Oh, there's two oh. of you? Now I get why you said you had a memory for two. Yes. You can't imagine to what extent, though. As children, everyone got us mixed up. So one day, we decided to play along. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister, Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Clever. 
But isn't it complicated? How do you make it work? One of us has no existence in the outside world. We share everything. First for one, then for the other. We dress the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. We've learned to act as one. When we accept a mission, we both turn up. This time, though, she went ahead, and I was meant to wait for her on the mainland. She was meant to meet Sir Holm and bring back the details so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem? She was supposed to return from Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, no trace of my sister. Instead, a sailor passed me a message from Holm, notifying me of her sudden disappearance. So... My mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. That's strange. Maybe their disappearances are linked. It's clearly a possibility, but up to now I haven't found a trace of either of them. None of this is very reassuring. By the way, Louis, now that you are in on the secret, you are obliged to keep it to yourself. Or you will pay very dearly. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. It's time to leave. Okay, okay, okay. I, I got I got things to think about here. Things to talk about. So Okay, okay, before they start talking, my thought first off, he's super sexist and I hate how he treats her. Two I'm thinking that in his vision Okay, the reason why this kinda adds up, in his vision, he saw Emily and he saw his mom without a hand, and he saw home. I'm guessing that he saw Emily's twin because when we asked Emily at the beginning of the game if he had seen his mother, if he had seen Louis's mother, or she had seen Louis's mother, she's like, no, what are you talking about? Why wouldn't I like her? If, like, he asked if you had any reason to not like Louis's mother. And she was like, uh, no, I ought to slap you for saying something like that. So I'm guessing that maybe his vision did happen, but it happened with Emily's twin, Emma, and Holm is somehow tied up in this, but I'm, I'm guessing that's what's happening here. So Emily doesn't actually know what's going on. So they are kind of living in two different worlds now, where it's like Emma and Emily instead of just one congruent, <laughs> one combined Emily. I don't know if congruent is the right word there. I think that's what's going on. That's my thought. Let's see. What do you think of our first adventure? I must admit it has been fun by your side. Same here. I don't like Louis right now. It's a major dickhead to her. <laughs> oh, what's up? Wow, you got oh, tattoos. She's been drinking too much again. Louis, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. What does that mean? I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. Louis, we need to talk now. Otherwise, it'll be too late. Looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? Don't talk to Elizabeth. Jesus Christ, it'll be fine. You don't need to bang Emily. Sorry, Emily, but I can't leave Elizabeth like this. All right, Elizabeth. How can I help? Thank you. Come on, follow me. I'm gonna bang. That's stupid. <laughs> I need to see it now because I gotta go check out the freaking. I really frickin... need to talk to you, Louis, right now. Does Lord Mortimer know the mess you've made of your room? Listen to me, damn it! My days are numbered. Elizabeth, I don't know if it's about my mother again, but I'm telling you, you've nothing to be afraid of. She didn't come here for you. I saw her. Saw who? You saw my mother? When? Just last night. I went out to walk along the cliff top and I saw her in the distance. She tried to hide right away, but I'm sure it was her. Are you saying you recognize my mother in the middle of the night while she was hiding? Yes, Louis. I know it was her. You just said she was far away, right? In the middle of the night. And the exterior of the island isn't exactly well lit. Listen, I'm telling you it was her. That's some crazy tattoos, man. She doesn't hesitate on her answers. She's not trembling. She's really convinced of what she's seen. Did you talk to each other? No, she was far away. I I didn't make any noise, and then she was gone. Have you told anyone you've seen her? Sir Holm? Mortimer? You don't understand. It's 
her. She's here. Yes, I understand. No, you're not listening. The moment I saw her, I was overcome by spasms. She's here. I'm telling you, it was her. Okay. <laughs> yes, I need something to calm me down. I'm not drinking that. You can, you can just drink both of them. No thanks. I, I'd better not. Listen, if you want me to tell you everything, you have to drink with me, Louis. What I have to say to you is of the utmost importance. I'll drink with you, but let's go easy on it, okay? You first. I don't know where she gets her rot cut from, but frankly, it's disgusting. You know, Louis, when I came here, it was in the hope of getting help. I've only just now realized that I've been drawn here into a trap. Whoa, the alcohol's <laughs> gone to my head. I knew it. Here, the condemned's last drink. Elizabeth, alcohol never solves anything. I'm going to stop now. Listen up. You want to know what your mother was capable of, right? You want to know the reason why. Well, you're gonna have to follow me to the bottom of the abyss, Louie. Either drink or get out. Okay, <laughs> later. <laughs> no, I won't drink. All right, Louie. Then get the hell out of here. You're incapable of opening your eyes, so be it. Get out! You could just tell me without me drinking. <laughs> you know, it's possible. I took two sips and I was already like woozy, so I got a feeling I don't want to drink that. <laughs> suck a D, suck a D. I'm gonna leave you be. Why the hell did I go with Elizabeth? Yeah, that was useless. I could have spent the night with Emily, but no. I had to go play the night with a big heart. Oh, well, never mind. Tomorrow's another day. I'm really curious to play through this again. I didn't really accomplish anything, but I had a feeling I didn't want to either. You ready for a twist? What's up? Monsieur de Richet, I am arresting you for the murder of Elizabeth Adams. What the hell's going on? What? You are in deep trouble, my young friend. What? I'll put my points in here, I guess. What are you on about? Okay, etiquette, logic. Okay, I can take care of logic there. What? Hmm. Well, we'll apply the logic one, so I won't put any points into it. This is super sketch. So, this will all be opened up here, which will be nice, so I may as well try to open something else up in here. You know, I think I kind of want to get linguistics. I think that'd be nice. But how often am I using linguistics? In- in conversation. Right. And then they'll let me do a manuscript eventually. What? What? 
What? That's just it? It's just, it's just no next time. It's just boom. What the f- Okay, well, I'm definitely going to do different checks for this because I really do want to see different things. So if you guys are into the different checks and that type of stuff, I think that'd be really cool because I want to see what happens if you go with Emily or if you drink more with... Man, there's a lot of different ways I could play through this, honestly. So I wonder if I can, like, copy my save files over. I hope I can, but I do want to replay through a bunch of things. So th this is going to be fun to kind of, like, huh, test through it. Maybe I'll stream it. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know what you guys are thinking of this. I thought this was really cool so far. Really interesting cliffhanger. I wonder what happened that night. Now I'm wishing I would have gone with Emily because then I would have had a, an alibi. But who knows? Maybe Emily would have died. I don't know. I think it'd be weird if Emily died. I think she's a little too major here. Not as... Not as all over the place and... <laughs> damaged as Adams was, honestly. So, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe the mom killed her. I don't know. Well, if you guys are interested, make sure you subscribe so you can see more of these different checks as I get them out. Make sure you're following on Twitch, too, because I might live stream this a bit. We can investigate things kind of live like that. It's all in the description. And again, let me know in the comments what you guys thought. Leave a like, that type of jazz. All those YouTuber things they tell you to do. And then I'll see you in the next one, okay? This is pretty cool. So thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. Meow. And bye bye